Thank you very much, David, and it's great to be here today. I'm the director of the Monash Data Futures Institute, and I have many of my colleagues with me today, including Jeff Webb and Dixon Lukos, our two professorial fellows within the Institute as well. And I'm going to give you an introduction to the positioning of the Monash Data Futures Institute within the broader Monash University structure. And we're very much a research institute and we work very closely with our colleagues across the different faculties within Monash to drive a number of interdisciplinary research projects. We've launched a new PhD scholarship program and we're also working with our partners in the enterprise organization to look at new industry collaborative, collaborative opportunities as well as partners with a, with a wide range of other philanthropic organizations, as well as our external university partners on a variety of different ARC, MRFF, NHMRC grant programs as well. The overall focus of the Institute is very interesting. It is a virtual institute, just like we heard at Swinburne, uh, but we're a virtual institute that encourages our research staff across the university to join us as part of this broader institute. And to date, we, we launched about 18 months ago and we have over 500 academic staff engaged within the Institute at the moment. And you'll see a wide range of academic disciplines that are represented here. Roughly 75% of our membership is within the STEM disciplines, including medicine, and about 25% in the humanities and arts and social sciences. And as we look moving forward, we're, we're really looking to grow that humanities focus around data science and AI as well. And we do that by some of the programs and investments that we make to attract more and more staff to this virtual institute. I'm going to use some of the examples of the projects that we've done over the last uh, 18 months to talk about the style of research that we do within the institute. And this first set of projects is in the context of understanding the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic on the way we live, our experiences pre, during and post COVID. And for those of us who have lived through lockdown, um, Melbourne unfortunately just reached a milestone of 200 days under lockdown this week. Um, we've, done, we've done a lot of work through a program last year that we called the Melbourne Experiment to look at how we leverage data science and AI to demonstrate the experience of life through urban recovery and renewal through COVID. And so we've got a number of projects here in the context of supporting the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals around leveraging data science and AI across all aspects of life within a major city, including disadvantaged communities, including the need to focus on energy and sustainable development and climate, as well as physical health and well-being. And so we represent the program of research that we do within the Institute in the context of leveraging data science and AI to make a difference in the context of what we view as major global challenges, for example, climate and sustainable development, the impact of the geopolitical environment and security environment we find ourselves in, and also, how do we leverage AI and data science to support healthy, thriving communities with a focus on AI and health science? So the next few slides I'm going to use are some examples of the research projects we have underway. Much of this work, as David mentioned, is unpublished, but I wanted to give you a very high level summary of the different styles of research projects that we have in the Institute to give you a sense for this notion of cross-disciplinarity that we have. Uh, the first of these is which now, I'm going to switch back now to talk about some of the ways that we've engaged the broader community and the Institute moving forward. And so with any multidisciplinary Institute, particularly a virtual Institute, it's really important to bring a community together. And so one of the ways that we've done that is looked at different ways that we can run events many of which have had to be online over the last 18 months. But we've run a variety of different styles of events, both internally and externally. So some internal ways that we've been engaging our community are to run a series of meetups, 
We've got Professor Warwick Tucker, representative from the Faculty of Science, where we run every two weeks a Thursday afternoon meetup to bring our Monash community together to talk about different topics of relevance for all of us as researchers. We've also run a series of what we call quarterly lightning talks, where we bring a series of researchers together to talk about a particular domain and topic. And so we've got an example of one of those here around the application of AI, digital technologies, and the law and the legal professions, where our faculty of law colleagues joined us. And then we also are including here a couple of other examples of externally facing events that we've run. Uh, one of these recently with the Faculty of Education, talking about the impact of AI in transforming the way we think about the education profession, the way that we teach, the way that we need to enable teachers to be educators of the future in an environment dominated by data science and AI. And then we've run a series of tech talks uh, with other faculty members, including with the faculty of IT. And so this notion of truly bringing together cross-disciplinary folks is very important for us as we think about that model of global engagement around data science more broadly, and not just within our Monash community. Just a plug for one of our upcoming events. Uh, we've just launched a new distinguished lecture series through the Institute. We call this the Monash Prato Dialogue. We had a very successful launch of this a couple of weeks ago with Professor Stuart Russell. And our next lecture coming up on September the 9th is with Professor Hugh Price from the University of Cambridge. And so this is really a, a plug for all of you to consider joining us for our next event and the registration we can make available for all of you here. Now, it's not just about data science and AI. It's very much about the application of data science and AI from a global perspective. And so we've also found it's very important to engage in a policy conversation around ethics and responsible use of data science and AI techniques. And so this is one of the areas, again, where we've been running events to have a conversation about the responsible use of AI and data science in society, particularly around medicine and legal implications and human rights. And so I just use this as an example to show that the AI and data science focus here is not just about the technology, it's about the application of technology to solve real world challenges. We've got clearly a number of external partnerships that we're involved in where major sponsors of the international partnership are with the United Nations around AI for global good. We've been a premier sponsor for the, the new A Women in AI Awards for Australia and New Zealand, and we're continuing that for next year as well. And then it's important also for us to start building out a network of external partnerships and sponsorships. We're very pleased to be a part of this Australian Data Science Network because I view it's a very good way for us to be able to look for ways to collaborate and partner on a variety of different proposals and grants and project ideas moving forward. So we invite you to join us and to reach out and partner with us. Our membership program extends to be an external membership program as well. And so we'd welcome all of you joining up to be a participant in some of our programs too. Now, I just want to finish up with coming back to some of the other things that we do here within the Institute. Uh, we do have a PhD scholarship program. Uh, we advertise for expressions of interest. The next PhD scholarship program uh, applications are due at the end of August. And so we've, we're onboarding new PhD students. Across Monash, we have a variety of different educational programs that are run through the faculties the Masters of Business Analytics within our Business and Economics Department, Masters of Data Science and Artificial Intelligence programs through the Faculty of IT, and also a new Bachelors of Applied Data Science program run through the Faculty of Science. And all of these programs are taught by faculty members cross-discipline that are a way for us to be able to position the disciplines of data science and AI moving forward. Now, I'm going to wrap up just with two slides that will look like a list of names, um, but I wanted to share them with you because I think it's important to sort of understand from a professorial pers perspective how many of the people that you probably know well are engaged in the Institute. And so I'm including here 
just the professors here. This is not the full list of our 500 membership, but for you to get a sense for the colleagues that you know, um, who's involved with us here within the Institute. And so you'll very clearly see here that in the context of application of AI and data science, We've got a number of colleagues here from medicine, from law, from education that are involved in a lot of the programs within the Institute. And then the next set of names are probably people that you'll recognize more closely from your own collaborations around data science and AI. And this is the group of professorial colleagues of ours that I would describe as more technical, that come from the disciplines of IT, from engineering, from science. Uh, from statistics, from mathematics. And they're, again, part of the broader membership within the data, the, the institute that we have here. And again, it's a way for us truly to drive this umbrella approach of a cross Monash Institute, but to leverage a broader community and investments in the fundamental technologies around data science and AI, as well as the application. So I'm going to wrap up there, David, and hope this has given you all a bit of an insight of what we're doing here in the Monash Data Futures Institute.